Oh my God, she just asked him to try for a baby and he said yes. Welcome back, I'm Kelsey, and today on another episode of the Not So Very Challenge, I get to be chaotic and insane. Anyway, we're back with the Paris household, or the Barry family, as I like to call them. A lot of mixed emotions happened last time, a lot of teen romance drama. Please keep uploading characters for Fox to interact with on the gallery using hashtag Kelsey Not So Barry. Specifically, I'm looking for college students, so anyone to put into the university area to sign up. I'll put them all in populate the college college campus. I'm not exactly sure how to make sure all of them are at the college, but hopefully they will all be there. So we're going to try. With that said, let's jump into the game. Theo Paris is sad from losing a friend and dwelling in his emotion. Who died? Did someone die while we were at our date? I'm assuming it's Skylar maybe that he's mourning still. It looks like Slate also might be still mourning as is Indy. So it looks like everyone's a little bit sad, except for Violet, who is focused on working out. Mom, who is currently at work and Fox, who just returned from his absolutely terrible love day with Colin, and Journey is not even interested in being around him whatsoever. He could call up Whitney, but I feel like Whitney has been on again and off again with her significant other. Is it Latasha? It might be Latasha. I don't exactly remember. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let him deal with how tense he is. Maybe have like a family love day. He's hungry, so why don't we have you bake some things? Let's do some onion bagels. I feel like that sounds kind of yummy. Honestly, making your own bagels sounds really hard. Also, I like how a lot of you guys were into us creating our own Barry family graveyard. So I actually might do that during this episode, maybe towards the end. I love that father-daughter workout time in the fitness room is happening. We got Slate listening to music and watching TV. I don't know if you need to do both. Oh, and Theo says, you're really great, Violet. Oh, I bet he's encouraging her with her fitness. Indy is on the computer. Indy, why don't you, since you're energized, why don't you work on sports outside? He loves his sports team some oh my god oh my god Marks started a fire in the kitchen his onion bagels did not go well oh poor baby that is so interesting he's able to resume the onion bagels the oven did not get fried to the point of dying hey babe are you busy i miss you want to see you who is that he's responding it's jasmine kaneko interesting wow okay he's just a little playboy you know he's charismatic and we're not surprised that everyone look at him taking photos of himself posting it online. Like, we're not surprised that maybe people are taking notice of our boy. He is a bit of a dreamboat. She's eating cake. Everybody's eating sweet things. He is so tired. How's your skill of baking? He's level three of baking. Five of charisma. We need to get higher in mischief. The higher he is in like mischief and logic, I think, the better chance he's gonna get into like a prestigious part of college. So I really do wanna work on his mischief. Oh my gosh. Why is mom crying? Oh, she's probably crying over mom's death. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Go troll the forums for a bit. I want you to keep working on your skills here. Be mocked by Slate. Oh, Slate! Ooh, dishing it out a bit. Okay. Looks like Fox is taking himself to bed. We'll work on his mischief and logic soon. He only has level two of logic, so we do want to work on that a bit. He's gonna refill the bowl for his baby. There we go. And he's apparently going to... Oh, he wants to give Fox a kiss. It's so cute. Okay, he's getting into bed. Slate's chilling. It is almost midnight. Night, so I think you should be going off to bed too. And Amethyst, why don't you do some nice little love day shenanigans? Oh, she's on her period. Okay, well, fair enough. But I just felt like they both, you know, might want to like give each other little love day gifts. I love that they always have big goods in the fridge now because of their son. He's gonna go up. He's like, ah, it's love day. You know, it's midnight on love day. It's a little late. Love day can still happen. Indy, Indy, go to bed. It's mom and dad time. I'm gonna share the love day spirit. Give him a little kiss. Apparently there's a shower our woohoo that they both might want. Oh, he's supporting her. They might have not gotten to go on a date, which is unfortunate, but they're getting a little alone time, a little romance time for their love day. Oh, they still got it. They're still obsessed with each other. Everyone's asleep. Yay. 
And love day is over. And Fox is just vibing. How you doing, Fox? Fox is going through a phase. He's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like he's gonna be more nasty to Sims. Oh, maybe this is when he kind of starts going through his mean streak of like teenage dumb, you know? Kind of just been jilted at love too many times. So he might become like kind of a bit of a mean boy, little playboy kind of action. He's like, ugh, forget love, okay? Guys and girls are mean. Oh, he did burn this though. The cook a doodle do stove hood. That's okay though. We can replace that. So everyone's starting to wake up for school today. Oh, I'm hideous. My face is a mess. Oh my gosh. I could never imagine you ever thinking you were hideous, Violet. It's fine. Don't overreact. That's mean. I don't like when people say don't overreact, but I don't want him to say try some light makeup either. I guess we'll say try some light makeup though. In the end, I'm like, oh man, we're gonna have him troll some forums this morning. Although part of me wants him to work on his logic skill too. He's feeling mean today. So maybe it's time to start being mean. I don't know. The whole family seems to sit down for breakfast though. That's kind of nice. Even though it seems like Fox is in a bit of a mood and is kind of rude to his family this morning. Jasmine, oh my gosh. Want to have a quick woohoo session. My brain is like, he's too young. I mean, he's not gonna say no. Oh my gosh, is she living in our old house? Oh my gosh, Jasmine is my lover and she lives at my old house. What is he doing? Uh, he's immediately going to go to sleep in the bed. Look at this, like this is his old room. This is his childhood bedroom. This is weird. Is she living here alone? Where are her parents? At least come sit with her. Go sit together on the couch. At least like make out or something. Poor Jasmine looks like kind of upset with him. Compliment her fine garb, you know? Have a conversation with poor Jasmine. Give her a little snuggle, okay? She invited you over. Talk about the fire that you lit today. I feel like he's probably kind of just using her though. I don't think he's all that into her. And then he fell asleep. Oh my God, this is too funny. What is she doing? It kind of feels like she's here alone. Apparently I'm gonna keep napping on the couch and she's gonna keep sitting next to me and watching TV. But she's like tired and she wants to kiss. Look at her, she's like wanting woohoo, but like not feeling it with him. It doesn't seem like she likes it when he mischievous. She's about grades. I feel like she is not going to like it. What's going on with Jasmine's memories? Oh, someone in her family's died. Pretty much everyone in The Sims is, are dying. Like, know someone that dies most of the time. She's so over his BS. Perfect. He reached level five of mischief, which was kind of my goal. So now I want to work on logic. I don't know how you could work on logic while he's here, though. I heard you'd be coming with Violet Paris. She's pretty cool. Thanks, Dylan. She is pretty cool. He's like, I heard you're hooking up with Violet. He's like, yeah. But, like, he's not actually hooking up with her because he's not at all interested. Look at it. Like he doesn't have any things of like wanting to hook up with her. I do not know what the deal is. And she just keeps going into this toddler room. Is she okay? Maybe we should go home. We're gonna go home, but this was something. Goodbye, Jasmine. <laughs> because I want him to work on logic, I think I'm gonna add to the backyard. We're gonna add a little chessboard. Looks kind of like there's just the classic chessboards. Can we do orange chairs? I'll go with purple since it's still Amethyst's house. And then we'll just just change this to like a wood tone. Excellent. All right, buddy. Why don't you play with probably Violet. Violet's like the more intelligent of your siblings. The one that's focused more on intelligence, I suppose. She would be more interested. Oh, and he's sad. And she's sad because they had bad love days. Mom's cleaning up. Do you still not have the level six of piano skill? Uh, she still does not have the level six of piano skill. Keep working, queen. You've got this. We'll have her keep working. Fox is working on his skill. Level three of logic. Good job. Ooh. He made her super angry. Shaming my looks. <gasps> he insulted her appearance. You have to be really unhappy with yourself to try to bring others down. Oh, shaming someone's appearance. How is that considered shaming appearance when I was just telling the truth? Oh, he was probably trying to like look out for her and he made her super mad. Oh, so let's check out what's wrong with our sweet baby angel flame. Give you a nice little brush. We'll play fetch together. We'll pet you. It's okay. I love how Violet's just gonna store him off and kick the trash can. Violet, clean that up. She's super mad at her brother for making fun of her look. Probably said something about whatever Violet was insecure about to her dad, which probably just made her really mad. In my eyes, Fox can do no wrong, but I'm sure he did say something very mean to his sister. The Fox is playing
playing fetch now. Bring it back, Fox. Good baby, Fox. Today is my favorite holiday. Talk like a pirate day? Yeah, sure, Reed. Come on over. Oh, Reed. Okay. Invite him in. Compliment his mighty fine garb. Check on Reed. It looks like he has going through something a little bit. We're gonna have to go check on Reed. Sorry, baby. They are like absolute best friends. Appreciate Reed. Oh, so sweet. And then I think they should play together. Theo did pretty well at work today. Good job. Amethyst just so close to finishing this piano skill and then she can finally get up to musician level eight. Go to work. Oh shoot, she's gotta go to work. But I want her to finish this. I'm gonna let her finish this before she goes to work. Perfect, okay, go to work, go to work. An hour and a half late, oops. I still think we'll get a promotion though and that's what I really wanted anyway. Oh, looks like Reed is trying to chat up our sister Violet maybe? It looks like he might be a little into her. And then we just get in the middle of it. <laughs> he walked right through the between them. Hi, friend, are you having a good day? Yeah, is, do I have another friend? Carolyn, oh wait, that's right, it's Carolyn. Yeah, we should invite her to hang out too. I saw that there's like a thing where you can have a teen party and I'm like, oh, I wanna throw a teen party. That sounds fun, although he's exhausted. Carolyn's gonna be right over. Why don't you sleep really fast? And then maybe like, since it's Saturday, you'll go out like Saturday night and we'll have like a teen party. Slate is vibing as usual, just chilling. Violet's doing well, what does she wanna do? She wants to practice programming. All right, Violet. Indy's like having a dance party in here. Oh, is Reed gonna join his dance party? Yes, he's joining Indy's dance party. Oh, and look, Carolyn's here. Chatting in the mirror while we sleep. Sounds about right. Reed had to head home, but I will see him later anyway at the teen party. The skin is the best part of the meat. What did you think I was going to say? What? Number one, who is this man? Number two, why would you call me and say that? I hoped you wouldn't say anything else. What a creep. Big no. Oh, looks like everyone's doing a little bit of Saturday cleaning, Saturday chores. Mai's calling. I'm glad your date with Vaughn went well. Congratulations. Please stop calling Mai. I feel like we need to have some sort of altercation. Look at them though. They're, they're playing basketball kind of together at the same time at least. I miss you, Slate. Do you mind if I come over? Yeah, you can come over, cousin Dylan. A starfish can turn stomach inside out. Ew. See, like, this is the kind of stuff that Violet just randomly knows. Meanwhile, we are still asleep. I feel like Indy should wake, or not Indy, oh my gosh, I'm getting my children confused. Fox should wake up because I want him to go out with some friends. Where is he going? He's gonna go see what's happening. What, what's happening? He's just seeing his friend walk away. I thought someone had died or something. I was gonna be really freaked out, but no, she's fine. Okay. Amethyst earned a vacation day. She didn't get promoted? Oh, it's probably because she came into work late. Dang it. Oh, he's gonna go write in his journal about his feelings. I love that Fox is just writing in his little journal. I texted someone they didn't text back. It's been like an hour. Should I text them again? No, wait for them to respond. It's gonna be fine. I think he's talking to mom. I think it's time to like throw a party and I'm gonna have him throw it for fun. Yes, here it is. Teens only party. Is something gonna happen? Are teens gonna come over? What's happening here? Interesting. So not a lot has happened. Apparently that didn't work with Slice of Life. We can still throw a party at some point. Oh my God, he's, he's remembering the fire and is getting a little scared too. Look at him playing with fa Flame. Dang it, it's so hard for me to keep the name straight sometimes. Fox and Flame are becoming companions, what? I wanna watch this. Oh, <laughs> yay, that is so cute. He's gonna give Fox a little kiss. They're best friends. Oh, and it seems like Fox is asking dad about a similar text emergency. No way for them to respond. You don't need to hurry up. Maybe he's mad because he tried to send that party invite and nobody responded. It looks like everyone's tired anyway. We can try a, a teen party tomorrow night. Ooh, it looks like Violet's trying her hand at cooking for the first time. Look at her, made her own cooking food. She's feeling very confident after cooking for herself as a teen. How cute is she? And then I think like she's a little like nerd. So she's gonna work on her programming again after she's all done. <gasps> she likes programming, <coughs> born to code. That's perfect. I love that for her. Oh no, we broke the computer. Mom, can you come repair the computer? Mom's like, I'm on the way. She like woke up at 7 a.m. Was like, let me repair the computer, darling, because you broke it. Looks like the dog needs a bath again. I mean the fox. I keep saying dog. Give Flame a bath. And as always, Indy's turned on the music. It's this little loud music phase. Theo went to work. All right, fine. Means I need to wash the dog. Unless we get Fox up to wash the dog. Violet can program once again. Good job, Violet. She likes the music too. She's feeling good. 
good. She loves it. She's like, oh, that's my jam. I love alternative music. And our boy is up. Fox is up. He is going to go get an onion bagel for breakfast that he had made. And then he probably needs to take a shower and work more on his skills. It's like 11, so it's still a little early for his party. Ooh, mom looks like she's making something. What are you making, mom? Butternut gnocchi. Oh, okay. Amethyst, I hope you made enough for everyone. She did not. She only made enough for herself. And then Slate is hungry as well and is cooking a garden salad. Go Slate. Everyone's cooking their own lunch today, their own meals. Everyone loves the music, actually. Oh, and look who's over. It's Genevieve. Oh my gosh, the dog is dirty again. This time it's your turn, Fox. You've got to take care of Flame. I just, ugh. Looks like uh, Genevieve's taking a little walk. She's headed out. Ooh, Theo brought home some money today for work. Good job, Theo. Oh, do you want to go over to his house and hang out? Yes, okay. So she's going to go over there. She's going to bring Violet, Theo, Slate, and Indy, and Fox is going to throw a party at the house. It's perfect! <laughs> Everybody's here. It's raining, but I'm going to switch control to Fox. So we're going back over. The family's there all together, and then we're just home alone with Fox. He's feeling good. Let's pet Flame, and then let's throw a social event. We're gonna throw a party at the house. Ooh, keg party. Yeah, he's bored too, so this is perfect. All right, we need to get a keg. The drama. Okay, which keg? Is there a keg that's orange? No, but this one looks like the angriest keg. So we'll put that in the middle of the house. Oh my gosh. Why don't you tap the juice keg? He's super bored. Grab like a quick little something. Or order delivery. You could order a pizza. Yeah, order a pizza. What's up, Rodney? Be like, hey, what's up? Oh, I like your skirt, Rodney. Very cool. All the teens are showing up to the house. Dylan's actually a young adult, so I bet Dylan was the one that got the keg. <laughs> He invited Dylan specifically for that. And then I want you to do a keg stand. We'll do one with Whitney. Oh, it looks like Journey's also here. He's feeling flirty. Oh, feeling smitten from a nearby Sim. Who is the Sim? It's probably Whitney. He is such the hots for Whitney. Why did Journey show up in a wedding dress to my party? Journey, you're so odd. I'm sorry, Journey, but I do not want to marry you. He's got to do like a keg stand though. I want to see him do a keg stand. He's like, hey, Whitney, you want to do a keg stand with me? She looks hecka annoyed with him and over him and he's like blushing and like Journey's mad at him obviously from seeing him like chat with Whitney. It looked like Whitney said no I don't want to do a keg stand with you which kind of sucks but it looks like everyone's grabbing the pizza. Kids are dancing. Oh it looks kind of like Carolyn might have a crush on Dylan because she looks like a hundred percent like she might be chatting with him. Chatting him up. We'll grab a drink. I want him to get a little tipsy. Oh my gosh look they just trashed the place. That's actually hilarious. Carolyn's so into someone. Oh mess around in the shower. Oh, I mean, he is feeling very flirty. He wants to become angry though. Maybe he'll like get in a fight with someone. Probably Colin. Wait, he's asking you to hook up in the shower. Oh, she said yes, but Slate's home. Oh my gosh, Slate is home and so is mom. Oh no. Mom, meanwhile, just walked in, started cooking. Also, where is he? He's in the shower with Whitney. He's not even in there. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna be mad. He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna be like, what is going on here? He's gonna end this cake party. He's like, this cake party is over. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's looking up Fox. And oh my gosh, Slate walked in on Fox. Oh my gosh, someone is in trouble. He's going to argue about the dirty surroundings. Yeah, he's gonna be like, what the heck? Wait, where's mom? Mom's dancing, of course she is. And he's like, what is this? You invited people over, they trashed the place while we were gone? Is that what your whole plan was? You're not allowed to drink. Argue about house rules. Yeah, be like, you know the house rules. Ooh, dad's really chewing him out. I kind of wish he would not be sitting right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him not sit. Argue about the music. Ask about his phase, maybe. Be like, what is going on with you? You've been really mean to your siblings. Siblings. Festering grudge. He's a grudge against Theo now. I don't want them to have a festering grudge. Oh my god, but you can see he's drunk. He's a little flirty drunk right now after that hookup in the shower. Oh my gosh, he's feeling very romantic and flirty. Mom's having a drink. She's just like, okay, she's gonna clean these up. Oh wow, they're still having an argument. Oh no. I think he's gonna force to him to clean up the trash. He's gonna be like, mom, don't clean up, okay? Let me enjoy my mean streak. Disciplining my action will make me behave
like, do you really want to spoil my fun? No, he's going to discipline you. I think, Mom, you should turn the music off. Although, it looks like Andy's having a good time. And meanwhile, Slate is, like, hard at work doing his homework. Violet's having fun talking on the phone to her friends, probably telling them about the party that Fox threw. He's like, go clean up. He's like, Dad. Uh... Mom's already cleaned it up anyway. He's a little tipsy, so he's going to bed. He got chewed out by Dad about throwing the party. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dio is asleep. He is not feeling it. He is mad. Also, what are all these? Looks like people have been trying to like cook a couple different things and they just didn't. So I'm gonna cook all the things. Oh, she's watching a TV show that's sad. She's watching Grey's Anatomy and she's upset. Slate's just chilling. 10.30. Half the family's already asleep because they're all tired. Oh, look at Indy cleaning out the fridge. He's such a good kid. All the kids are so good. This is like the first time Fox did anything that like really got him into trouble and now he has a grudge against his dad. Look, his responsibility is super low. Everything's going pretty well. Emotional control and empathy are pretty low as well. Oh, I'm just sad that he has a grudge against his dad. But they're still good friends. I hope the festering grudge doesn't get that much worse. But I could totally see him having a grudge against his dad and being like, you want me to be this perfect son for you and I'm not, okay? I'm not my brothers. You don't appreciate me for who I am. You know, all that kind of jazz. Journey definitely got very jealous of him hooking up with Whitney at the party and so their romance is down versus his romance with Whitney is very high up there. They had a little sneak off into a shower, which is very bold. And then his brother walked in and didn't even say anything. Look at my kiddos. It's 2 a.m. though, sweetie. You need to go to bed. It's a Monday. You got school today. The fox is dirty again. Let's give Flame a bath, I guess. Violet's up. She likes things clean, so that's probably why she washes fox so much. See, she's tense because she's like, I don't like handling the dirty pets. I don't like them being gross. Oh, it looks like someone else, the kids pranked the toilet. That's not good. Look, oh, dang it. Got all over her. Looks like dad might be awake though, so he might come clean it up, but oh my gosh. Actually, they might make Fox clean it since like his friends are the ones that pranked the toilet. He's taking photos. Probably hoping Whitney's gonna like them on Simstagram. Oh, look at him. He's gonna be mean. He's gonna yell at his brother. He is going through a mean streak. Goodness, Fox. When does Fox age up? In three days? Whoa. Oh, and his dad's birthday's tomorrow. His brother's is Wednesday and his is Thursday. And then Friday is Amethyst. Wow. Which means we're gonna miss Amethyst's birthday because we'll probably go to college then. Oh, he just walked in on his brother. He's like, oh, I did not want to see that. That was embarrassing. I hated that. He's showing his twin something on his Instagram. I think you need to come and repair this toilet, sir, since your friends ruined it. Hey, honey, you want to watch a movie together? We can order takeout if you want to. <gasps> I'm not gonna say no. He has school though. She just like called him up and he's just gonna drop everything. Even though he doesn't like her and he likes Whitney. Well, Whitney's probably on again with her girlfriend. So he's like, whatever. Oh my gosh. Can I have him call in sick to school? Yeah, he's gonna fake it. He's gonna ditch school. Oh no. He's like, I'm so sick. I can't come in. I'm so sorry. He's gonna go tease her. You don't sound sick. If this continues, there shall be consequences. Oh no. I hope not. I want to just keep his B. I don't think he really likes taking Hanging out with her actually. He's uncomfortable coming over here. <gasps> Yeah, he's gonna miss school. Spicy, uh-oh, he's gonna miss school today. He's skipping school to hang out with a girl at her house. What should they watch together? Maybe a comedy? That might make him laugh. That might cheer him up, make him get out of his own head. She is not joining him. Now he's feeling better. He's feeling happy. Excellent, excellent. Now they can go play chess together. All the kids are at school learning important life lessons and he's just messing around at this girl's house. <gasps> is someone calling? It's the principal. Oh, the school's giving him a Warning! Oh no! But he's just playing chess. He's not even answering the phone. And meanwhile, Jasmine is just taking photos. Jasmine's not going to school either. They're both playing hooky. Ooh, and she's trying to cheat. But then he's cheating back. That's pretty flippant funny, actually. I like how they're both being very playful. Oh no! It's this little fox is missing school. If he misses too many dates, his grades will suffer. <gasps> Also, why would you call him Little Fox? He's a big fox. He has a tattoo and everything. He's just playing by himself now. He's like kind of into it. He's like a little secret nerd. Yes, level four. You didn't seem like yourself today, so it's just checking in on you. You're good, right? She was probably like mad that he didn't get into school today and she like was seeing him. Yeah, I'm fine. It's the 100 Baby Challenge song. 
Turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> no, no, he's kind of hungry. I bet he would just have like garbage or he'd bake her something. That'd be kind of cute if he baked her something. I feel like she wouldn't like it though. Can I get the always welcome trait? Let me see. Yeah, perfect. He's gonna bake her some peanut butter cookies. Also, he's hungry. So I feel like that sounds like something he would do. Ooh, Indy's an A student. Violet's a B student and so is Slate. He's probably gonna have to head back home soon because otherwise they're gonna be like, where is Fox? Where is he? What is he up to? What is he doing? He's gonna call her over and be like, I baked cookies for you. Meanwhile, she just grabbed cereal. That is so rude. He baked you cookies. Go get a cookie. She's like, okay, I'll get a cookie too. And he's just chomping that cookie. Absolutely loves it. Oh, did she just like do her makeup? Cause it's girl, it, you, you might wanna watch a few more tutorials. Far be it for me to judge anyone, but this was fun, Jasmine. Thanks for inviting me over again. See you next time. I had fun. Gotta go home before my parents realize I wasn't at school today. Although I feel like Theo's gonna be on top of it. He's gonna be like, I know you weren't at school. Cause also like the siblings would tell him. They would see that he's not at high school. They go to the same school. They would notice that he's not in class. Pay the bills, bills are due. Fox is home, taking more pics on his cell phone. Ooh, Violet's also enjoying the, oh no, is something wrong with Flame? We might have to go buy some vet treats for Flame. So where's Fox? Influence to do homework. I bet he's gonna be like, you know, I notice you don't do your homework a lot. I think you should be doing your homework. I guess he doesn't find out about him skipping school. I was hoping there would be an interaction of him being like, you skipped school, that's not okay. Aw, he's like, okay, dad, and he's gonna do it. What a good bean. It actually is getting his logic up, so that's good. Fox, you need to take our sweet baby angel to the hospital, because it looks like our baby is not feeling too hot. And we'll buy all the vet treats so every Jen's pet doesn't have to go to the hospital. <laughs> we're going in here, we're gonna purchase the pet items. The wellness treat, we'll get 10 of them. Go wake up Flame, poor Flame. Here you go, sweetie. I know it's hard for you. We'll give you a little vet treat and then we need to go to use the bathroom. At least he's a responsible pet owner. That's what's most important. Oh my gosh, this is pranked too. This toilet was pranked. Ah! Wash your hands. Oh my God. He just went out of there and did not wash his hands. Taught you better than that. Okay, let's go home. All these poor pets. Oh my gosh. And now Flame is stinky from lying in a puddle. The amount of times I've had to bathe Flame this episode is too many times, too many times. We're gonna complain about our problems and play with our little pet and then we might go to bed. It's 8 p.m. I feel like he goes to bed so early lately. And oh my gosh, our sister is out here still playing on that. And Slate is working on his dance moves. And Theo is of course always working out on the treadmill. Yes, Amethyst has finally been promoted to a symphonic string player. Hooray, Amethyst, good job. We have to gain a level eight of the piano skill. But why don't you grab some food? Ooh, it likes mischief. Slate also likes mischief. Aw, they might have that in common. That's so cute. He's taking care of all of this. Aw, what a sweetie. I love how Theo's just watching his wife as she practices for her job. I wonder what comes up after this. Instrumental wonder. Good for her. Everyone's headed to bed, even Amethyst at 3 a.m. Only one still up is flame, just vibing. The kids are up, they're getting breakfast. This. They're doing homework. Slate's cleaning up some stuff. Kids have school in about an hour. I'm wondering if Fox is gonna go today, but he probably will, unless someone calls him, I guess. I think it's interesting that like he goes to, oh my gosh. I couldn't stop thinking about you. Can you come over here and keep me company? It is still a school day. Oh my gosh, she keeps inviting him over. This is super scandalous. I mean, yeah, why not? I guess. Her makeup still looks terrible from yesterday. I don't know if I'm gonna have him fully skip class. I think he might just go to class late. Again, he is an introvert and he's uncomfy being around her and hanging out. I think he's gonna have to like cook breakfast or something. She's so brokenhearted. It seems like she's just going through, maybe her parents both died recently or something. Cause she does seem like she's going through it lately. So that might be one of the reasons why she keeps asking him to come over. I think it's interesting that his parents either don't seem to notice or don't really care that he keeps kind of heading out early. He'll go to school in a bit. He's eating breakfast first. He's gonna have breakfast at his lover's house, who he doesn't really do anything with, to be honest. They don't really flirt with each other. He never gets like all that excited when she's around. Yeah, eating breakfast, watching TV, gonna use the bathroom, and then he probably will head to school. That's about it. Yep, here it comes. Little Fox is still missing school. Okay, we don't want it to, oh shoot. 
Look, he's an only on okay student. This is not good. Okay, he's gotta go into school because we don't want him to slip from a B student. He's gotta do the bare minimum. He's gonna go into school. He's gonna be like, bye, I'm going to school. He's like, oh shoot, if I don't go to school today, my grades are gonna slip. I wanna go to college. Gotta be the very best at the criminal track in college. So he's gonna listen to teacher. He's gonna work hard at school today. Meanwhile, Amethyst is bummed out today. I think you need to call like a sadness hotline, all right? You don't seem that good. Why don't you chat with Sterling, who's like her other best friend? Theo's feeling flirty. He's like, oh, I'm so smitten with Amethyst. She's so beautiful. She's feeling a lot better after calling that sadness hotline, so that's good. Now she wants to hug someone. Aww. Fox's manners is in range to earn the good manners rate since when? But why don't we, we give a little hug to Theo? She's feeling playful. Ooh. Oh, and she called Cordell. That's nice. Oh, look at him flirting with her. He wants to kiss her. Aw. Wait, are they are they woohooing? Oh my god, they're woohooing. I did not do that. They decided to woohoo together. All right, the kids are home and they're home together. I guess now's the goodest time as any. And they are woohooing in the shower. Slate is getting bullied. Oh no, now that Slate is getting pretty good grades, some bullies have been picking on him lately. Should he confront them with a witty comeback or ignore them? Oh, he's gonna confront them. He's like, I'm too cool to be bullied. Slate unleashes a tyrant of poetic insults and put downs and drops an imaginary mic. The bullies quickly lose interest. And uh, these two are having woohoo. I hope they don't have another kid. I'm gonna... They have another kid, I'm gonna lose it. Fox has to present in front of the entire class. He even has some great ideas for how to jazz up his presentation, even if they're not exactly what the teacher asked for. Should he go all out and make his presentation shine or just do what was asked? I feel like he'd go all out, but maybe in a bad way. <laughs> Although the teacher loves it, Fox's classmate grumble that he made them all look bad. Oh, that is a surprise coming from Fox. I thought he would make it kind of sassy. But he brought his performance back up. Now he's like a good B student, so that's good. A lot of fireworks. A little steamy morning here for Amethyst and Theo. Please, 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 please. Okay, no, she can't take a pregnancy test. They must have used contraceptive. They're all good. But she, she's uh, feeling pretty good after that. He is too. Cooking a grilled cheese and having a grand old time. She's also kind of hungry. I doubt he's making more than one. So I feel like she should cook something. Maybe some salad since they've been eating a lot of baked goods lately. I feel like our son would then make whatever he wants. Ooh, Indy reached motor skill level 10 and Slateless fitness level four. Good job, team. Aw, she adores Theo. They just love each other so much. They're supposedly cooking together, but he's not doing anything. I wish he was like actually helping cooking. Bye, honey. Gotta go to work now. Thanks for the fun morning afternoon. Theo's feeling great. Ooh, and Fox is grad A student and so is Violet and Slate's a B student. I went too far in the opposite direction. I did realize he'd be an A student he never even does homework. He's just that smart. He even looks annoyed with himself. He's like, ah, oh, how did I do that? Lame. I gotta go do some shenanigans in order to avoid that. Feel no one likes me. No one will ever like me. Oh my gosh. I feel like Theo would be like, look around, you people like you. Your brother likes you. Why don't you work out with dad like you like to do? Some father-daughter hangs. Do you like talking to me, says dad. Oh, I wonder what Violet's gonna say in response. Of course I do. What a sweetheart. Oh, I love that Flame is chilling with him while he works on his intelligence. Oh, it looks like uh, our brother might join. Nope, he's too tense. He needs to play some basketball. Fox is like, all right, more chess for me then, bro. Mai's wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. <laughs> I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna bring my wife and we're gonna be mad at you. Wait, I can't bring my wife? Oh, she's at work. All right, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna tell her what for. Okay, we are ending this. We're telling her no. I'll be like, Mai, we are just friends. Stop it, stop it. This is where Mai lives? How many kids do you have, Mai? Mai has three children and no spouse. Ask about her career. Maybe she is just being friendly. It felt so weird that she keeps, who is this? Tataki, that's the father of this child is dead over here. That is suspect. Mai. Mai is trying to flirt with us again. Wait, what did you? What, uh, oh my God. She just asked him to try for a baby and he said yes. I just canceled it. My, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. He is a loyal man, okay? Even though he said yes, I'm gonna yell at her. I'm gonna just be like, absolutely not. My, we are not friends anymore. I cannot believe she asked us to try for a baby. I don't really like you very much right now. Just feeling bitter over a few things that I'll get over eventually or not. Who's this? You think zombies are real? I don't know you, dude. No, I don't think zombies are real. I'm in the middle of chewing out my wife's former friend. Absolutely not, go away. He feels a little bummed 
bummed because they were friends. And he's like, I hate to like end this friendship. If I hadn't caught that, they would have had a baby together. Part of me like wishes for the drama, but I just don't think I can do Amethyst and Theo dirty like that. I think that Theo's like a good stand up guy. That was so sus though. I don't know. My mods are insane. I did not know even Sims would do that. Why don't you go take a nice shower? Shower off from that experience there. Meanwhile, Amethyst is super sad. Oh, she's really tired. But I do want to do the graveyard. We're going to travel to all the different berry locations. Hopefully she doesn't pass out. Maybe I'll get the like energy potion just to be sure. So we're going to go to Mount Komorabi. We're going to just pick up all the gravestones. So that way in the future, I don't have to like release their spirits. They can all be ghosts, but they can be ghosts in the graveyard. <laughs> Boom, Skylar Berry. Cannon, I don't know where Cannon would be, but I guess we'll just focus on the berries for now. Now let's travel to the next location. Yep, this is our house. When I moved, did I bring the urns with me? I think I did, but I don't remember what I did with them. This is like a trip down memory lane. Okay, I think we brought them with us, which means she would have died with it in the inventory. So let's travel again. Then before that, we lived in Oasis Springs. Where did Rose Jen end up in the end? Was it Brindleton Bay? I feel like we were in a red house. Yeah, here it is. Oh my God, there's a full family there now with a bunch of cats. I love that my game just auto populates random Sims. It just cracks me up. Oh, look at all the cats. Look at our old home. Hey, who's this? Kumiko, Saya. Neither of those people are our relatives. Look at this house that I had made. It's so pretty. I loved this house. What did I do with all of the graves? I feel like I just kept them in inventories. I I think Mince was left at her house. I loved all these houses that I built for all the Sims. It makes me so happy. Mint 2.0. There used to be family living in a lot of these houses. Wait, oh my gosh, here we go. Nicole Ota. Forest Berry. Oh, Forest Berry. Melina Berry. All right, these are all berries, so we'll take them. Mint Williamson. We found Mint's grave. Raphael. Oh my God, we found those. And I don't know who that is. And then this is Mojito Berry, which I wish we could take, but we can't. We have them all in our inventory. We've got like seven berries now. We've got Casey, Skylar, Megan, Forrest. Melina, Minth, and Raphael. So we got like a chunk of the family. We don't have the whole family. We're gonna go home. So I'm gonna leave the game here and I'm going to place a lot that is the grave lot. I'm hoping that all of the graves are in the inventory with like the boys. I think Willow Creek makes the most sense. We'll just like take down one of these places I never go. We'll do the museum. It's not that great of a museum anyway. Bulldoze, perfect. Now I'm going to go in here and look up like a cemetery. It's what Hunter Baby Cemetery is pretty funny. I mean, it kind of works. I'm gonna put this one down and see what it looks like. It's a little bit plain, but I think it functions really well. It looks really cute. We could jazz it up at times. Could add some like trees or whatever, make it kind of more pretty. Here's the cemetery. Perfect. I'm going to double check to see if we have like the rest of the graves. I hope we do. We have Summer and Kikiru. Okay, perfect. We're gonna put it in his inventory and then he's gonna travel there and hopefully we can put it there. We're gonna travel all the way to Willow Creek to the cemetery just so we can pop down Summer, her husband, and their pet, Rover. All right, so here's Rover, Summer. Oh, if we move it back, it'll go into a headstone. Perfect, okay, this is working. This works. Oh my gosh, we could really have this. Okay, so I'm going to get this set up for next time, but I'm gonna leave this one here. Let me know your guys' thoughts for the future or if you have any thoughts as to where I could maybe find the Rose Generation's graves, but I think I have everybody else's. I wish I kept better track of it. But until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Way to end this on a very morbid note there, Kelsey. Thanks, Kelsey. <laughs>